Hey people, Intro Tier 3v3 Faction War, this is Angstrom Heights and Ordo Malleus vs Chaos Space Marines. For the Blue Ordo Malleus team we have Ellipses with a brother captain. A very durable hero walks through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful support and disruption fighting in melee combat alongside two Eversaur Assassins in Akura. And this is Sergeant Smith 501. These guys are risk reward melee brawlers that explode on death. Red Chaos Team, two Chaos Lords. First up, Suragunta the Kaiser with the Alpha Legion Elite Scheme. And we have the Tenso. Just knock the Eversaur Assassin around. These guys walk through objects and cannot be suppressed. Very durable and destructive heroes with powerful offense and disruption fighting in melee combat. Rounded off the teams, Hive Minion is a Chaos Sorcerer. Offensive and destructive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control. Just not the Eversaur flying again, the Chaos Lord, with his kill the weak. Gets onto that central VP. Meanwhile, Southwest is Eversaur versus a Chaos Lord, both out for blood. Doom Blast and melee on the Eversaur. Knocks him down, does the Chaos Lord. We have a Strat Squad here, though. CSM backing up with Bolter Fighters. Another Doom Blast. Stormtroopers being flanked by some Chaos Space Marines of the Tenso and are forced to retreat. Maybe they can touch this power node here. Might not be able to fully bash it, but at least whittle it down a little bit. Eversaw needs to be careful. Chaos Space Marines do not mess around in melee combat. Forced him to retreat, but he'll be okay. Triple Stormtroopers here for Inokura into a Strat Squad. And two Stormtroopers Strat Squad in between for Ellipses. Double CSM for Surugunta and for the Tenso. Two to one cap here very early on. The brother captain is not happy with these Chaos Space Marines hanging around. And double Stormtroopers will help out. Maybe they can get a model if the Chaos Space Marine plays a little bit sloppy here. Should be able to deal with this. Need some support. Not a whole lot on their way. Meanwhile, Southwest. Some corn worship. Plus two speed for the Chaos Lord's units. This is the Tenso's Chaos Lord. It's a good place for Kill the Weak. Maybe he's already used it. Yeah, must have used it already. We have grenade launcher stormtroopers here for Inokura. Maybe three of them at some point. Yeah, here's another one on the way. Grenade launchers, by the way, removed from the Inquisitorial stormtroopers in 295, which I think is live now at the time of recording. So go check it out. Eversaw Assassin pops his Psycon. This is Sergeant Smith. Gives 30% damage boost and damage resistance but he spends health to use it heretics being flooded with hotshot las gunfire here and need to back away there's a doom blast and retreat there we go csm now needs to be careful incinerators purgation squad on the power and they just built the gens up double eternal war for the tenso into some havocs now Stormtroopers got messed up. Now they're trying to focus fire the strike squad, which are pretty low. Meanwhile, in the mid, it's kicking off. Sorcerer just hanging around. Maybe just fired off his doom bolts, I think, maybe. Lots of fire, though, from the purgation. Eversaw goes for that central VP. Eternal War up on these guys. Not sure about Saragunta. Don't see Eternal War here. They've spent their power on what, then? Upgrading the heretics, I guess. Do have that aspiring champion on the power is the auto malleus the central power can be quite hard to hit this but again it done here comes the flank from the tenso though some corn worship to help out chaos lord in amongst his strike squad to tie them up there's a tomes of titan banishment flying out do we have triple grenade launchers we do it's gonna be very very painful for anyone standing around for a couple of seconds. Avex helping to stop the power bash. they got one gen and the node. Chaos Lord trying to chase off those guys. Maybe the combi flamer could do some work here. Some raptors too, of course. That was a good doom box. They did a lot of damage. I think it only killed two or three models though. Spread out evenly, of course. Eversaw Assassin's getting involved. Psycon is up. That big red semicircle there, now it's worn off. Can he get a model? Can get a model. CSM drops. But then gets double havoc off the field. What's going on southwest? They see a power bash from this purgation. 
Should be able to get that node at least. Eversaw Assassin just kind of hanging out here. 477 to 414. Heavy cover for these Curse Space Marines. A ton of war is in. Gonna get a double banishment though on the Heretics. That was nasty. Doom Blast and run. Banishment has been adjusted for 295. Now does less damage to regular infantry, I believe. And it has shorter range. Maybe some other changes too that I've forgotten. Purgation run. Double CSM in melee, but they get disrupted by those grenades and take lots of damage. See, look at that. Had to get the hell out of there. If they weren't in retreat for those other bursts coming in, they have dropped some models there. Chaos Lord with the Dark Halo up for the Tensor. Trying to get in amongst those pesky stormtroopers. Oh, here we see the Eversaw. He just used hypermetabolism, and this is the vulnerable state from it at the end. I think they adjusted the visual effects for hypermetabolism, so it's a bit more clear when he's using it. I haven't seen the effect myself, but I believe that was in the notes. Not sure what it is. Psychon pop there for Inakura. But is persuaded to leave by the Chaos Lord. Some good pressure from these Chaos Lords here. They need to do a lot of that. Get themselves into those back lines. The Dark Halo for the Tenso helping to do that. No sign of it from Gunter though. Meanwhile, all oh, an expensive power harass for Hive Minion. Lost a bunch of heretics, but they still have Havocs. In fact, double Havocs and CSM in play here. Grenades going in, but they're getting suppressed, these fellas. They do all have sergeants? No, only one has the sergeant. Maybe they could flank around a bit, get a grenade in there. But these Havocs are strangely split up. I mean, all you need to do is, uh, yeah, you just need to disrupt the lead model that has the heavy bolter, I guess. That's a lot of damage, holy crap. I wonder if that would have wiped them if they didn't retreat there. But yeah, no more, no more grenade launchers for those guys going forward then. The scene is pretty unnecessary now that they have interceptors back in tier 1, I think. In terms of setup team counters and stuff. And it's just really powerful to have. Especially on a squad that's, you know, got grenades. Got a detector. A lot of stuff those guys can do. Chaos Lord trying to tie up these strat squad guys. Forces them out. Those are Inakuras. Inakura goes tier 2. Tenso halfway there. Ellipses already has a Vindicare Assassin on the field. Looks like Hive Minion is going to be the last player to go tier 2. There he goes. They were floating a lot though. I think that's Hyper Metabolism again on the Eversaur Assassin. Yeah, there it is. There you see the vulnerable state at the end. 30%. Malice to the damage resist for 10 seconds at the end of it. You need to be careful how you use it as as you may have gathered. Grey Knight Dreadnought on the way for Sergeant Smith. I uh, imagine it's going to be the Plasma Cannon going on. It's a fun weapon. Who doesn't want a Dreadnought with a Plasma Cannon on it? I do. Those grenades though. They can all burst at the same time. It's a massive amount of burst damage. Not to mention the other guys have hotshot las guns, which are not bad. Grenade launcher barrage there. That knockback. Really surprised we didn't see any raptors. We do have some bloodletters on the way for the Tenso. It's not like you can't counter these stormtroopers with grenade launchers. They're not very tough. Jump on there with raptors or something. They're going to have a bad time, especially since the raptors will suppress them. We do have bloodletters on the way. They'll do a lot of damage to all of this infantry. But they don't disrupt or suppress when they land on you. Still very, very scary. You're going to see a power bash. Pretty effective one, I would think. Okay, our space marines here trying to do some stuff. Grenade launcher heretics they're disrupting. Oh, that was malign malignant blindness from one of the Chaos Lords. The Tenso, I think. He's going double bloodletters here. Dreadnought on the field for Sir Gunter the Kaiser. The Chaos Dreadnought got a buff. It now has a lowered melee resistance when it has the auto cannon. It's going to get it a 20% melee resist, I think. Then, of course, if you get the Mark of Zinch, it loses that. And if you get the Mark of Corn, it gets the full 40%. A nice buff for that guy. Good power bash here from Ellipses. There's the Vindicare. There he is. I can switch between two ammo types to combat all targets. He's using Turbo Penetrator against the Gens there. Which I assume helps. 
Here comes the Eversaw. Assault armor charged. They seem to completely miss those Chaos Space Marines there in Akura. Gives them health and health regen. There's the explosion on death. Chaos Dreadnought got it done with his claw. Bloodlet is lucky to get away without a model loss there. The other Bloodletters are just hanging out near the power for some reason. Demons with power melee weapons that can teleport around here. Some for Hive Minion too. Tier 3 for Ellipses. That is a last cannon getting shots there from the Tensor. Only a couple though, I think. Bunch of repairs now from those Stormtroopers. We have just the cars up for the strike squad. No, one of them. Only one of them. Kicking off over it. Mantle of Hate for the Chaos Lord with that Dark Halo for the Tenso. Drain life to shut down the Eversaw Assassins, maybe. Bloodlet is getting in there. Last Cannon's getting shots. Did not see the Plasma Cannon yet for this thing. Just then using that default... Heavy Flamer. I'm not sure if this big Dreadnought Flamer has a specific name in the lore. Looks like it's going to go down though. Down it goes. Last Cannon doing the work there. Any sign of Tier 3 from the Chaos Fellas? Nope. We do have another Grey Knight Dreadnought though from Sergeant Smith. 384 to 347. Don't have a huge amount in terms of anti-vehicle for the Ordo Malleus here. Oh, we do. We do have a conversion beamer. And of course, there's that Vindicare Assassin. What do you have, Mr. Brother Captain? No war gear for the Brother Captain here. No war gear for Sergeant Smith, too. Chaos Lord. Again, they've done a good job pressuring the back lines. Just pushing the Grey Knights back. Mark of Corn, Chaos Space Marines, double Mark of Corn, Chaos Space Marines for Surigun to the Kaiser. Got some Corn Worship here, which benefits demons greatly with health and energy regen, in addition to the plus two speed. 357 to 347, very even on VPs. Inakura popping Psychon a bit early there, I think, although it's a solid pistol shot, wasn't it? 350 to 347 as the 2 to 1 cap for the Chaos Space Marines. And there is the, uh, what is it called? Bio Meltdown. I forgot the name of that global there. Explosion on death, almost wiping out the Chaos Heretic. So Bio Meltdown damages the Eversaw Assassin over time, but it also damages all nearby units over time too. So you need to be careful how you use it. And if you do die while Bio Meltdown is active, big explosion. As you saw there. And we do have a plasma cannon up for this Grey Knight Dreadnought. Uh, what is this? Is this target acquired from the Vindicare Assassin? Oh, that is... Um, that's the Vindicare support, or whatever it's called. The global ability, I think, of the Eversaw Assassin. We can call in a Vindicare to mark all enemy units on the map. A pretty good counter to Malignant Blindness, actually. Which is maybe why they used it there. 313 to 347. Grey Knight Terminators. On the way for ellipses. The, the uh, Brother Captain can get Paladins, of course. Two heroes down here. Looks like the Chaos Lord is going to revive the Chaos Lord. This Dreadnought has done some good work, but I'm surprised Sir Gunter hasn't been able to get into Tier 3 yet. Did they have other stuff up that I missed? It's entirely possible. Vindicare is taking shots at these... Oh, at these guys. And there's target acquired. 292 to 347. Conversion beam getting shots. Good plasma cannon hit too. And here comes the other sort. It's got the Neuro Gauntlet and there's Bio Meltdown again. Look at the damage. Last cannon getting shots on that Grey Knight Dreadnought. Eversaw Assassin wipes out those heretics. There's Drain Life. And he does die. But killed a whole bunch more heretics. Bio Meltdown, bad news for heretics, it turns out. 272 to 347. A one to one right now. It's been a fiercely contested game so far. This is Inakura, I think. Yeah, with all the stormtroopers getting onto the VP, going for that garrison. Those guys wiped out, down to two squads of stormtroopers now. 
But let us have to retreat though. The double strike squad coming in. They do have their adjusted cars. Which makes their banishment more powerful. Havoc's running away. I can never remember if the adjusted car of these guys has a power weapon. I mean they do have a sword. As opposed to a halberd. So perhaps it's different. It's definitely... Uh, more damage if it is just regular melee it's, it's more damage than the other models but I think maybe it's power melee I could be making things up though tier 3 for Suragun to the Kaiser purifies on the way for Sergeant Smith both the Eversaw Assassins down I think both of them down from Bio Meltdown actually Granite Terminators are up for the Brother Captain does he have any war gear yet? no war gear for this guy has revived the Eversaw Assassin though gets to level 3 is it? yep level 3 Doubled mark of Zinc CSM for the Tenso. Good counter for the Granite Terminators if you can get some kind of control. Is that mark tar is that target acquired again? That was target acquired, I think, from the Vindicare. I'm not sure if that thing I saw before was the global. I'm not sure what kind of visual effect that has, but I couldn't think of what else it could be. The Vindicare Assassin was so far away from that Chaos Lord. Bloodlet is teleporting. Oh, just to get around. Usually they only teleport into combat. Kicking off in the mid, but the captain goes for it. The VP that is. Plaza Cannon sends the blood letters back away, but he did have some good worship support. Here comes the Eversaw Assassin. Could charge into the back lines here, but that's a lot of stuff to go into. Oh, it's Bio Meltdown again. Whenever you see an Eversaw charge into certain death, it probably means they're going to use Bio Meltdown so painful so dangerous I mean you do, you do usually lose your Eversaw Assassin though but look at the damage he's doing in the meantime does go down there those guys get away I think yes they did we have Havocs having to flee target acquired from the Vindicare Assassin there he is in the middle what level is this guy almost level 3 tier 3 for the Tenso Inokura and of course Ellipse is already there we've already seen the Granite Terminators up you have splash damage, power melee halberds. Bad news if they can get into combat with some infantry. But that is getting wrecked after teleporting in. Gonna go down, I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they're far enough away. There it is. There we see the off map Vindicare support marking all of these targets. Yeah, good counter to the Malignant Blindness. If you wanna spend the red, that is. Dreadnought backs away. I don't think it lasts as long as Malignant Blindness, though. Double Mark of Zinch. Lots of DPS, but here comes some Paladins now. Four Ellipses. Unique to the Brother Captain. Heavy melee Demon Hammers. Tough as hell with 5,400 hit points. And they have the Holy Grounds ability, which is quite fun. Paladins teleporting back. The Mark of Corn Chaos Space Marines do, should do some decent work against the Paladins. They don't really want to go in on the Terminators, though. Purifiers are up here for Sergeant Smith, who's down to just two units, though. Yeah, the Dreadnought did go down. I don't think I noticed it go down, but it's certainly down. We do have a tank from Hive Minion. Looks like it has got away from the Purifiers, but they do have a heavy melee weapon here. 254 to 245. It's very close. There's that Nero Gauntlet Eversaw also has Assault Armor and cybernetic enhancement now for the awesome rapid reflex Inokura is still down over there I don't, I don't think they have any war gear but the captain certainly doesn't what about these chaos lords we've got lightning claws up for Sir Gunter still dark halo and mantle of hate here and the vestments of the warp for hive minion haven't been paying attention to the uh, chaos sorcerer very much all been the mid and the southwest mainly in terms of action. Level 5 Chaos Lord for the Tenso has done well. Tome of Subjugation. Great counter to big scary infantry units such as Terminator variants. Just get them in trouble or turn them on their allies. Bit of a lull in the action here. Surprise, we are still alive, says Sir Gun to the Kaiser. Land Red Crew said is on the field for Inokura, and here comes a Terminator Librarian. Crusader provides health and energy regen, as you can see, that also allows you to reinforce off it. 
but won't allow you to retreat back to it, such as the Land Red Redeemer. Has those Hurricane Bolters, Twin Links Assault Cannon, and the Molten Melter. Some good long range weaponry on that thing, especially anti infantry wise. That's going to get a shot in. 203 to 245. That is the Purifier's ability, I think. Yeah, there it is. Can't remember what it does. I think it drains your energy these days and slows you down or something. It used to do damage, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't do that anymore. 203 to 245. Psychic Field was that thing. Land Raider's taking a lot of damage here. Got some Chaos Terminators getting some Power Fist hits. Going after the Vindicare. They couldn't quite get the Vindicare though. That's the Canticle of Absolution from the Brother Captain's Global Bar. Providing health and energy regen for those allies. And Chaos Space Marines got wiped. Those were Sir Gunters. His Sanctuary from the uh, Terminator Librarian. Triple Cap for the Order Malleus. Did a lot of damage to the Land Raider, but it does survive. And the Paladins are chasing the Chaos Dreadnought, who's under Pawn Worship. And here come Granite Terminators now. Double Marcos each CSM trying to do their job and shoot Terminators to death. Well, Paladins, I guess. Terminator Librarian does have the Lava Demonica for Might of Titan. Which I think boosts your melee damage. Or your speed or something. Something good. Don't need to reinforce, I don't think. Nope. Lots of repairs for the Land Raider. Looks like Inakura is going towards the natural VP of the Chaos team. Chaos Lord revives Chaos Lord. They're starting to fade a little bit in terms of their influence, these Chaos Lords. Now that there's so much stuff, so much dangerous stuff, this tank is going to go down. They need to, yeah, outfit themselves for combat. Chaos Lord goes down so quick there. He did have Menace in Visage, which is a good choice. 203 to 140. Try and choose softer targets. It's hard for them to fight Green Knight Terminators on their own. We have Lightning Claw Terminators, though. For the Tenso. Taking a lot of damage. Having to teleport out. There's Bio Meltdown again. Man, that's so much damage, isn't it? Explosion on death and sends those Chaos Space Marines flying. I'm not sure if that's been... Oh! They have conceded. Well, so Gunter and Hive Minion both lost a lot of stuff and they were up against multiple Terminator variants and a big old Land Raider Crusader. Not to mention these Bio Meltdown in Eversaws. Did a lot of work with that. That's a, that's a really powerful ability. I'm not sure if it's been adjusted for 295. I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, it was a fun one. It was very close until Ordo Malia's kind of hit critical mass here. And they couldn't really keep up in the in tier 3 stuff, could they? Didn't get those Terminators out quickly enough. I don't think the tanks were super useful here. Look at his heroes. Level 5 by the captain. No war gear. Level 3 Eversaw. Level 6 Eversaw and down. This guy had the Neuro Gauntlet and Cybernetic Enhancements and stuff. Level 4 Chaos Lord for Sir Gunter. With those Lightning Claws. The Tensor level 6. And the Chaos Sorcerer level 3 up in the northeast there. Well there you have it guys, thank you for watching, big thanks to these players for taking part and of course Impregnable for hosting such events. I'll see you next time.